Uncle Webb, go! Tally-ho. Hey buddies, Sumnut Sky here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are going to be teaching you all about the grappling hook and the various different launchers in RL Craft that can let you swing around like Spider-Man. So we've come to the Lost Cities because we feel like that's an appropriate place to swing around like Spider-Man. And we're going to talk about the different launchers and grappling hook. Honestly, I'm going to skip over the Pudge Hook Launcher and the Spear Hook Launcher pretty quickly as I personally don't think I would ever use them. Pudge hook launcher, it's for grabbing enemies, grabs them, pulls you into them, and that can be quite dangerous in RL craft sometimes. Uh, it also doesn't really grab any land or anything, so that one's kind of boring. Get rid of that one. Now, the spear hook launcher is a little bit more interesting. It does grab land. It won't grab anything too hard. I don't think it grabs... Will it grab metal? Uh, will it grab fence? Um, the, the wiki says it won't grab uh, obsidian and like solid metal blocks, like an iron block, as an example. Um, and it breaks glass without connecting, I believe. Um, kind of okay, not amazing, um, and will damage players. So maybe something. I think this actually pulls, or maybe the Pudge Hook pulls players off. So it's like an anti. It's like a PVP one. The the Pudge Hook will pull players off of mounts and stuff like that. The Web Hook Launcher is quite cool. I believe holding right click to charge it up there is going to uh, increase the distance that it shoots. Although it does seem to hit the target even if i don't charge it up i think yeah okay so i don't know maybe, maybe holding it <laughs> does increase the distance it shoots who knows uh, but the webhook launcher is quite good um it has a uh, high elasticity but as you can see the momentum's a little bit weird so it doesn't uh it doesn't give you too much kinetic energy um you know it, it doesn't give you a high chance of ending up killing yourself because you're going too fast and swinging into a wall. Whereas this grappling hook does have that capability. We're going to talk about the controls in just a second, by the way, guys. So I'm just kind of showing you the different hooks at the moment. So what this hook does, um, it's just a pretty pretty standard. In fact, I'm going to come all the way down here. Am I going to die? No. So this grappling hook has much less range. It's It's got a much less range, a uh, much shorter range. And uh, I find it the most useful, to be honest. Now, it's the most dangerous. Uh, because you can kill yourself with kinetic energy on this one. But as you can see, it kind of it's better at keeping your momentum. It's just a little bit more crisp, a little bit more clean. The webhook launcher is nice, but it's just a little slow and it not it doesn't it doesn't have a, a clean momentum to it. So my favorite is just the plain old grappling hook, to be honest. This is made with just literally it's so easy to make. This is made with just a lead and an iron pickaxe. So you need one slime. That's the only difficult thing. So with the rep regular grappling hook, you've got the, um, there you go. If you shift click and hover over it, you'll be able to see all the different controls. Right click to show the gra throw the grapple, right click again to release, double right click to release and throw again, WASD for swinging, space is to release and jump midair, which is what I was doing to go up here. So I'm just pressing space and it's just jumping me up. I'm just reconnecting. Um, so it's really nice. Uh, shift and up and shift and down is go up and go down now so I can shift down I can shift up uh, it's quite uh, it's quite nice and that little jump that you get on it is quite good as well and then if we were to like you know we can swing I'm hitting vines but this is probably gonna kill me Ooh, ooh, it did four three and a half hearts to my head um, so that's what you got to be careful of that's what you got to be careful of now this can be really really useful in lots of different situations I mean I've used this there's another four and a half. I'm kind of trying to show you guys potential for kinetic damage here, um, as well as potential use. Oh, there's another four and a half hearts to my body. Um, so, you know, if you've got some resistances, you got some good armor, uh, or I don't know, does armor work with kinetic? But if you've got some good resistances uh, and you have a high number of hearts, it will be quite hard to kill yourself with this, but definitely still possible. So be wary. Oh, that was another four. Okay. But yeah, you see the point, yeah. it's It has kinetic damage, you can kind of see the potential for the damage there. I'm not wearing any armor, I don't have any resistance, I just have a decent number of hearts. It's really, really nice. Now, another good use for this, guys, um, the, the webhook launcher is slightly different in controls, you can 
uh, hold control down uh, to uh, to check the controls there. Honestly, I'd go into creative and just practice with it a little bit because it took me a little while to get competent with the controls and comfortable. But once I did, it uh, it was really nice and convenient. I've used it a lot in my playthroughs. Even literally just for like, if I'm running and I don't have a mount yet, you can literally just go like that and speed yourself up a little bit. Speed yourself up a little bit. If you're, say, uh, walking through a lake or a river or just a creek, if you're in water, here we go, here's some water. If you're in water and you're like, bruh, you can use this to pull you through the water faster. You know, if you can connect to a tree or the bank on the other side, whatever the case may be. And another the use that I've used is in caving. So I went caving in my hardcore world really early because I wanted to get my avian saddle. Um, and uh, a few times things like a russet darkling spawned and I was like, oh crap. And I uh, and I basically just grappled to the ceiling and pulled myself up and the darkling was down dancing around, dancing. It was dancing around at my feet and I could just kind of inch my way down and then whack it without it being able to get me. So the grappling hook is really, really nice. Honestly, it's really, really cool. Really, really good. I use it all the time. Webhook launcher, also great, because it's got that long range. Um, so you can just yeet yourself into buildings just like this. They do have different controls. So you're going to have to get used to the various different controls. Um, yeah, man. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every day, except Monday and Friday. I often take for video editing days. It'd be great to see some of you guys there. I also run my RLCraft 2.9 SMP server that you guys would be welcome to join. Uh, that's run through the Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash sumnutsguy. So you got to join us, earn 3,000 channel points to unlock the whitelist, and then you can join us on the server. Alrighty, guys. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.